Hi, I'm Brian Tracek. I'm the product manager for Fieldbus and Remote I.O. products here at Pepperell and Fuchs. Today we're going to discuss the components that make up a complete foundation field bus segment. The first component in any foundation field bus segment will be a host. Uh, the second component will be a foundation field bus power supply. You then move down your trunk cable into a field distribution. Uh, we call them segment protectors. And from there, you go off to your uh, individual field devices. So the first component in any foundation field bus segment is the H1 interface. Uh, here you see a typical two-port H1 interface connected into a Delta V controller and this could be with any DCS system, Yokogawa, Honeywell, uh, it, it's independent of manufacturer but the host is where all of your control will will be done and this is where the LAS or the link active scheduler is housed which controls the schedule for the rest of the field bus network. The second component that makes up a foundation field bus segment would be the foundation field bus power supplies. Uh, this is an example of Pepperell and Fuchs Power Hub. There are different numbers of uh, segment options. This is a four segment redundant supply. At the top here you'll see we have uh, four host connections with redundant host uh, an option redundant bulk power supply inputs and down here you have four segments uh, for your trunk connection. Power supply's main goal is to provide a matching impedance for the field bus segment. If you just connected up a bulk power supply your communication signal would be lost and there would be no no viable communication to control your plant. Now the various power supplies available from different manufacturers uh, offer redundancy of the power supplies as well as usually a built-in selectable terminator. Each foundation field bus segment needs two terminators, one at the, each end of the segment, and so having it built into your power supplies is a convenient way to make sure that that's included. Another option included on the power hub is our advanced diagnostic module. This built-in module allows you to monitor the physical layer for all four foundation field bus segments and its signal is transmitted through a diagnostic bus right from the back plane. The next component for a foundation field bus segment is going to be some sort of field distribution and for Pepo and Fuchs, we call that a segment protector. This is what takes a trunk in connection from your power supplies and converts that into different spur connections for your individual field devices. The segment protector offers short circuit protection as well as some LEDs to tell you if there's an error uh, or to let you know that you have communication and power. Additionally built into the segment protector is the second terminator that you need for your foundation field bus segment. So again, it's already included with the segment protector. It makes it easier to, to ensure that you have two per segment. Uh, additionally, you can daisy chain multiple segment protectors together using the trunk in and trunk out connection and these are used for safe area or division two applications. Another option for field distribution when using the high power trunk concept is the field barrier. This is a division two mountable zone one mountable uh, interface that provides you with four intrinsically safe outputs for use in class one Div 1 or Zone 0 applications. It provides, again, short circuit protection for the individual spurs as well as the optional terminator. So today I've shown you the three major components that make up a foundation field bus segment. The host, the power supplies, and the field distribution. 
For more information on these solutions, such as data sheets, white papers, or application notes, visit our website. Thank you for your time.